good day viewers good day uh, this is bishop mwanza who's going to answer with you uh, geometric progression uh, which came in 2020 gce uh, question 2b now the question leads the sum of n terms of a geometric progression which is gp is given by 10 minus 10 over 2 to the power n this is it then find the domain numeral one the sum of the first four terms of this gp are given to max uh, the second one the find the first term uh, so they are supposed to find the first term given uh, to max then find the first four terms of a gp so allow me to erase the part then we proceed so now uh, to answer the first one we are we have been given the sum uh, this uh, the sum of this gp is given by e this is what is the formula what you have been given so now we are going just to use the same uh, formula to answer uh, these questions so now the first the sum of the first four terms so now we are saying that where there is n uh, s uh, n is equal to 10 minus 10 over 2 to the power n and we are told that this number uh, n represents the number of what terms so we we'll say n is equal to uh, 4. So now uh, we will just replace what there is n replaced by what is uh, 4. So it will be sum 4 there which will be 10 minus 10 over 2 to the power 4. So that is what we have. So now from there I will proceed uh, using this side. So it's equal to uh, 10. We are going to have 10 then minus there is 10 then 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 4 you can use the calculator this is what paper 2 it will give you 16 it will give you 16 so now uh, there you look for a common uh, common denominator so once you find the common denominator which means we are uh, your common your common denominator of what 16 so it will be 16 then uh, this uh this into that times that it will give you one sixty then minus ten then uh, one sixty minus ten you get uh one fifty over sixteen one fifty over sixteen so uh one fifty over sixteen you look for a common a, a a common factor that you can divide into 150 and 16 without you giving any remainder it's uh, 2 so uh, 2 there it will give you what 75 over 2 into 16 you get 8 so now uh, this is what the answer that is the final answer so now we are saying that the the sum of the first four terms is 72 over Eight. So it's the uh, sum of the first four terms is uh, 75 over 8. 75 over 8. So let's proceed to the next question. Okay, now the second one leads um they are uh, find the first term. So now to find the first term, remember we are saying that we are using the same word. Uh, 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 the same formula which have been given. So our uh, sum is equal to 10 minus 10 over 2 to the power n. So now for, uh, for the first term, which means our n is equal to 1, so we replace whatever there is n by 1. So now our first term will be um, is equal to, so let me just say s1 is equal to 10 minus 10 over 2 to the power 1 and we know when you talk of the 2 to the power 1 it is just what it itself so 10 minus 10 over 2 so now 10 uh, 2 into 10 2 
uh, into 10 is 5 so I proceed this side so it will be 10 minus 5 so 10 minus 5 you get what 5 so therefore our first term a represents the first term is equal to 5 simple as that you get the 2 marks so now uh, let's again proceed to the last question so now the last one uh, the question is to find the first four terms then the awarded marks to this one are uh, three marks that we are given so uh, now for us to find the first uh, four terms so first thing we've got the first term our first term first term is equal to five then let's try and find the second term so now for us to find the second term which means we're saying that where there is n they're supposed to go at uh, two so now what we're going to find is the sum of the second term so now the sum of the second term uh, we are going to use the same which is okay, allow me just to use this okay i'll just do like this i'll say a uh, sum is equal to 10 minus 10 over 2 to the power n so we are where n is equal to 2 so now for this one you replace whatever there is what a uh, n so 10 minus 10 to the power uh, 2 2 so what do you get there we'll get 10 minus 10 over 4 so now uh there you uh you, you divide you look for a number that can go in both so it will be 10 minus there it's 5 over 2 so now uh there again you look for a common denominator so now the common denominator uh there it will go at to itself so there over one so now we are saying that this into that it will be it will be uh 20 minus 5 over so there it's going to be 15 over 5. So this is the sum of the second term. Okay, uh, as you can say there, we are saying that 20 minus 5 is uh, 15 over uh, the denominator supposed to be 2. Please uh, make sure that you, you don't make the same uh, mistakes because we usually do this in an exam then uh, at the end of the day you find that uh, you, you you receive uh, wrong marks then uh, and you know that you answered the properly so now this is the sum of the second term now having this sum of the second term so now i'm going to to write this as uh, sum of the uh, second term which is uh, 15 over uh, 2 15 over 2 just allow me to create some space there so now remember what we have is the first term is equal to 5 and sum of the second term is equal to 15 over 2 so now remember uh, the question is find the first four terms of this gp and on this one you have to know that when finding the uh, the next term you have to multiply or you're supposed to find what is the common ratio so now for us to find the common ratio we are going to apply what is the formula for the sum of the gp so the formula for the sum of the gp will be uh, s n is equal to a open bracket then uh, r to the power n minus one we close then over ala minus one so uh th that is the formula now uh the sum that we have it is the sum of what eh? the second d uh, uh term so uh, uh the sum of the second term which means even there we are saying that where there is n we replace by e, two so even there we are saying that where there is n n like this replaced by two and then we equate this to this one and this and this one so we're saying that where there is a uh, uh, sum we replace by 15 over two for us to find what is which is the common ratio 
then our our a is what eh? five so now let's just eh, substitute so there we're saying that where there is this uh, sum will replace by 15 over 2 so it will be 15 over 2 is equal to where there is a will replace by uh, 5 so it will be 5 open bracket other where there is n will replace by 2 then minus 1 close bracket over other minus 1 so that is what you have so now from there uh, you know as you can see this side uh, this side you you can you you, you cannot expand this this is the difference of 2 square so now there we will say 15 over 2 is equal to 5 open bracket so the diff uh, this is the difference of 2 square is ala minus 1 we close then ala plus 1 like that then over ala minus 1 so you can cancel what is common or reduce this one into that is 1 so there you remain with 5 and this so it will be uh, 15 out of 2 is equal to 5 open bracket ala plus 1 we close so again for us we can get rid of this 5 by finding the multiplicative inverse of what 5 or you multiply forward by what the multiplicative inverse of 5 so there it will be times 1 over 5 so even the other side 1 over 5 so this side into that will reduce and then you remain with it ala plus 1 remember there is an equal sign, sign there which means this side and this side are equal so is equal to uh, 5 there is 1 5 there is 3 so there remain with 3 over 2 so is equal to 3 over Two. then you you can transpose this to the other side or finding finding the additive reverse of this which is negative one so it will be ala is equal to three over two then that one minus one so there this is a fraction or and this is paper two you can use a calculator if you want or if you don't want you can just say uh, two times that it will give you three minus c which will give you something like 3 minus 2 over 2 then there it will be ala is equal to half so your ala is equal to half this is your common what ratio so now uh, to find the first four terms to find the first four terms remember our first term is what 5 so just write 5 there then you multiply each term by this constant ratio which is 1 over 2 which is the common ratio so 5 times um, 5 times 1 over 2 you get 5 over 2 when you multiply this what I mean is like this you are, you are just doing uh, like 5 times 1 over 2 you just multiply this uh, there there is 1 so 5 times 1 this these are numerators so they will multiply by each yeah, by each half then times again five times half so you are going to have five over four then again five times the half you are, you are going to have five over five over or oh, sorry there there's supposed to be a comma five over eight 5 over 8. So these are the sums of the first four terms. So these are the are the first four terms. These are the first four terms. Thank you very much for viewing this content. Remember to subscribe it and also share the video with your friends so that everyone can uh, you know learn with us as we are uh, growing each other in education.